Hi everyone, welcome to Jenka Toys and Crafts. Today I'm going to be working with this craft bell kit that I got at Target and it makes eight hair accessories and these are the two that I'm going to be making in this video and this one is a bobby pin flower and this one is a barrette flower and they're really super easy to make and really cute so please stay tuned and watch and I will show you how to do those. So the thing I think that is pretty neat about this kit is that it says it can make eight different accessories for your hair and they all come nicely bundled in their own little packages for all the things that you need for each different kind. So there's eight different uh, packages here and then this is a roll of glue dots. They're permanent glue dots so when you're sticking your flower or whatever you're making onto like your barrette or your bobby pin then you can use that to help it stick. And then it has the threads for when you need to thread things together. So that was something that I really liked when I opened it, that they were all just nicely packaged in their own little things so you didn't have to try to figure out what goes with what. It just makes it really easy to do. So the first one I decided to do is a flower shape. And I think they all might be flowers, but uh, this one, this package came with these felt circles and you just layer them by size into five different layers. These are going to be the petals. And you thread your needle with 16 inches of the clear thread and I've already done that and tied that in a knot. So you take these petals here and you just pinch the bottom of it together like this so it kind of makes the flower shape. And I just kind of like to fold it in half just because I think that's a little bit easier. And then you take your needle and just push it through all those layers. So I've got one on there, like this. Then I'm gonna do the next one. So now I've got them all threaded onto that same clear thread, like this, and you just pull it tight to make it into a flower shape. So this is what the finished flower looks like. And this one came this with this cute little crystal button here. And so I'm going to use just the ends of the needle that I have to sew that right in there. And I'll just take that and go around and around through the middle of the circle there, middle of that flower. So here's what the finished flower looks like with the nice little um, crystal button in there. And I still have the needle attached, but I'm going to just tie that off in the back. And this particular bag came with the hair clip, the bobby pin type thing. So. I'm going to cut that off and then use the little glue dots to just stick one on there. These are just these really small glue dots. You probably can't see it very well, but you just peel one off and I'll stick it on the round part here and stick that right to the flower. So I'll show you that in just a moment. So here's the project completely finished. I think it turned out really cute and it was pretty fast and easy to do because everything was just kind of laid out for you how you needed to do it. And so there's that and I have the bobby pin attached to the back there. So that is ready to wear. That was pretty fun. So the next design that I'm going to do is another flower. I guess they're all flowers, but um, this one uses one of these felt strips and you remove this backing here and it's a sticky back. So you just take off this white part and you just tear it off of there. <laughs> Try to tear it off of there. It doesn't really come off very well. I'm just going to cut it. You don't want to cut the string though. There we go. So it's really sticky, so be careful it doesn't stick to something that you don't want it to. I'm just going to stick, place this off to the side so that it doesn't get stuck onto something I don't want it to. And then this package came with two of these felt strips and this really pretty button for the middle. And so the first thing you do is fold this in half. This is the longer piece. You fold it in half. And then you roll it up. Like this. And then every couple of inches or so, you want to take your needle and thread, which I already prepared here. And just have it go through a couple of the layers just to hold it together. So I have that one sewn together into a little roll. And then you take the other piece of felt, it's a little bit smaller, it's a little bit shorter. 
and you fold that in half and this one you're going to wrap around the outside and you only want it to go around one time so you can just cut it like this so I'm just going to have it go around this one time and secure it here with this needle and thread okay so it's like this and I just cut off right where it only makes one time around and tied a knot right there and I'm cutting that off and you take your felt loop that you had before and kind of pull that so it's down there because you're going to attach that to a barrette then you just take this and stick it really firmly on top of here okay. so there's that part and now I'm just going to take the thread and sew on the pretty button just right in the middle it has and it actually is a button so it just has the little hole there so I just wrap that around a few times inside the center there to make it look really nice so that's what it is with the button sewn on I think that looks really pretty and so now that you have that felt on the back that felt circle you did in the beginning it has this loop here to slide onto a barrette and I'm actually though going to use one of the glue dots because they gave this whole roll and I just think it'll make it a little bit more sturdy so I mean I just stick whatever I'm sticking it to right on top of the glue dot so there's one on there now and I'm just gonna stick two on there just to make it extra sturdy and then slide it through the loop just like this and these are the two accessories I've done for today one's on the bobby pin and one is on the barrette and um, this kit can do eight different hair accessories and I'm thinking I'm only going to do two at a time on each video so if you'd like to see the other six being done please subscribe and I will update those as soon as I get them done thanks for watching Hope to see you next time.